Good morning. My voice, do you hear this right now? Oh my God. So I just woke up and I thought I was gonna make, my voice is really weird right now, so let's try to ignore that. But I thought I'd make a little video today um, because I have to go to a couple modeling castings today. And a lot of people like don't go to those obviously, or maybe they want to know like what to expect when you go because it's honestly so scary. Like I remember the first time I went, it was it's just like nerve wracking. Maybe if you see how it is, like you're not going to be scared, you know? And then also you have to wear like certain things and like do certain things to your face and stuff before you go. So I thought I would show you what I normally do. Um, I mean, I'm with a couple different agencies, so maybe I'm doing something right. Maybe not, but yeah, this is like my process of what I do on my days that I have castings. Um, castings are normally like once or twice um, a week for each different like agency. Um, but yeah, this is what I do before my castings. So obviously you don't have to have an iPad, but I just, um, for like my agencies, um, now like all of your like comp cards and stuff are pretty much online. So like when I'm going to different like casting things and if they want to see like certain pictures of me and stuff, I just like pull them up on my iPad. But if I'm going to like a new casting, like you're supposed to bring like hard copy, like dead ass, like literal pictures of yourself, just like basic like headshots, you know? like from different angles, a little pose, you know, angry face, like full body picture, you know, like you just want to have those basic pictures and like a couple copies of them because they like might want to like keep one, you know, of you. Um, but yeah, like for like an example, like if you have a portfolio, definitely like either print out the pictures or have them like ready on like your iPad, you know, because like you'll want to like have the pictures to like go through so then the people can like look at them, you know? You never know what to expect, but yeah. So to go over it again, know your sizes, be prepared to like talk on camera. Like it's nothing scary. Like you'll literally just be like, hey, my name's Bella Smith. I'm 5'9". I'm located in Los Angeles. And you can say like what agency you're with or like whatever. Um, yeah, so have printed pictures, bring any portfolio, look as natural as possible, like, I don't know, because they're used to, like, seeing people with makeup on, like, they're used to, like, imagining people with makeup on. If you come in with a full beat face, it's harder to imagine, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's harder to imagine someone without makeup on, you know? So, just go as natural as possible, hair as natural as possible. You want to dress, like, real plain, um pretty much black, don't wear white, just like don't wear white. I mean, you can if you really want to, but like from my experience, like I've always like been told like, don't wear um like bright colors. I'm sure as the fuck out of your face, goddamn bitch. You literally slap that shit on. I'm gonna be eating while I put makeup on. It's very sanitary. Throw some primer on. Honestly, does primer even work? Like, I really couldn't tell you if primer works, but I do it anyway. Like, isn't that what every girl does? Professional, you know? Like, fucking $30 for this shit, and you don't even know if it works. I put, like, a little bit of foundation on, but not a lot. Like, that's what I use, like, for concealer. So I literally just, like, <laughs> put, like, less than a pump on. And just like do that and then just like blend it out because like i mean like i have like some redness you know so like i don't want to be like all red see like it just covers up a little bit of the redness but you can still see like your natural skin you know i just don't want to be a red bitch and be like hey what's up y'all now you gotta set your face okay this is another thing you don't want to wear like anything sparkly you know you don't want to wear anything sparkly because, or like highlight, you know, like people, the girls are like Instagram girls are like highlight on fleek, like, you know, you don't want to do that because then it looks weird in the pictures and stuff. Like it just does not look good. 
So don't do that. You want to look pretty matte. I don't really like looking matte, but you want to look matte. So you just put all this shit under your eyes, you know? Everyone knows how to do their makeup. Just like I should have just explained it and left it, but I'm showing you. Because like I know what's right. Literally like slightly puts <laughs> Dude, I look so stupid when I put makeup on like I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm talking about But I'm just telling you like what I do and what like gets me places I guess like you know like I don't know if this is wrong. I don't know But this is just what I like do, you know So I'm just showing you that's like pretty much all I do um, I'll fill in my eyebrows like a little bit. I, I can't fill in my eyebrows like I just like always look whack <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? Like you see how my like I have like I don't know I try to make them look better, but it probably doesn't. Oh now I got mascara on now. Maybe I look a little bit more awake Maybe not so That's like all you do to your face like Literally, like, don't do that much to your face. And you just show up and you're like, hey. Recommend you to wear just like black, long jeans, like skinny jeans. I'm wearing these because I'm a fucking rebel. No, I'm just kidding. I just felt like it. But when I first like started going to castings and stuff, I always wore just like, plain black jeans and I also don't have any clean right now so I don't want to and then you need to I'm not wearing this but you need to wear just like a black like crop top or a black just like plain like shirt that you tuck in or whatever you know like you have to like have your arms like showing and everything and yeah that's pretty much like all for like the outfit and then definitely wear like a pair of heels. I'm probably just gonna wear like this with like black heels or those or some sort of black heels. Um, I've never wore a crop top like this to castings but I've seen a ton of other people wear them so it's I like guess it's fine. I normally wear like a shirt that's like long and you like tuck in you know but I'm gonna wear this because whatever you know. Then once you're completely ready and you're wearing like your black shirt and your jeans and everything, you're going to want to put a pair of heels on. A lot of times, like, um, I don't know if you're like supposed to wear closed toes heels, but I see a lot of people that wear like closed toes shoes. Like a lot of times I'll wear like a pair of like these like that are closed toed and like black or like tan or whatever. Um, today I'm wearing like open toed ones because it's really hot outside and... I've like already like have been talking with this agency, but if I was making a first impression, I definitely would wear like closed toe shoes. I don't know why you're supposed to do that, but I've always been told that by like any agents and my manager and everything. So, but yeah, so you just wear something super simple, just like plain black shoes, no nail polish on your toes. My nails are, <laughs> you, these are kind of crazy right now, but normally you have like a nude color, at least mine are like nude right now. But yeah, that's pretty much everything you do before you go. Um, they might ask you to walk, so make sure you can walk in your heels. I'm really bad at that. I'm gonna go catch my Uber, and then I'll check back in in a little bit.